So it's my first attempt at building a passive radiator and I kind of copied what Dayton Audio has, but without a spider. So it's more towards what a kicker, uh, kicker passive radiator is. Uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of these 12, 12 spoke 10 inch frames laying around. And a lower to base cone and lower to base $2 dust cap and uh, some allowance CA glue kit. It's glued. Uh, this is like two and a half inches, a little piece of cedar that I glued to the back of the cone. And then I put a nice fat bead inside and then put a little bead on the dust cap. <clears throat> Added some weight to kind of simulate what I thought. Uh, I had a two inch voice coil laying around. So I kind of simulated that maybe a little bit extra because I want this passive radiator to be for a single DC Audio M38. I'm gonna try it out. So this is all experiment, but I'll tell you that it does seem to have, it's more compliant than like a regular sub, obviously because there is no spider, but it seems like every passive radiator when it comes to uh, like the big JBL uh, pill, pill style speakers to a kicker to Dayton Audio, they're all pretty compliant, meaning soft. So it's not too soft. It's got the extra weight, so I'm hoping I'll keep the tuning on this thing pretty low. Right, one way to find out. And if it doesn't work at all, well, I'm only out like 30 bucks. So, oh well. Anyways, I'll do another update video once I order a recone for the M38 that I got laying on the shelf. And we will try to do this. Steve Mead made some passive radiator, had some custom ones done by, like, I think Ascendant Audio back in the day for his uh, tower speakers in the garage. So I can't imagine this. Couldn't work, and if it doesn't, next time I will add a spider and go from there. Later, guys.